Hi everyone, it's me Roxanne, and I'm back today with a new video featuring the Viking Jade 20. This is part two in my new video series featuring this machine, and in this segment I'll be showing you how to access the utility stitches as well as the decorative stitches. I'll also be showing you how to change the presser foot and how to edit some of the stitches. So let's get into it now. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to access the one touch utility stitches. The first thing you need to do is open the top cover of the machine and that will expose this keypad. These are your utility stitches and they only take one touch to use. The first one is your straight stitch center needle position. The second is a stretch stitch. The third is a multiple stitch. The fourth is a multiple zigzag stitch. The fifth is your regular zigzag in the center needle position. The sixth is a flat lock stitch. Seven and eight are both over edge stitches, eight specifically being for uh, knits. Nine will sew on a button. And this one at the bottom, zero, is your buttonhole feature. Now I'm going to power on the machine. Notice this little number one in the LED window. That correlates with number one, which is the straight stitch center needle position. And that is the default set stitch when your machine is powered on. Notice over here, the plus and minus and the plus and minus, this is to edit the stitch length and this is to edit the stitch width. If you press the plus sign, you'll see a 2.5 will appear in the LED window. That is what your machine is set to, a 2.5 stitch length. Also notice that there is no little light on here, which means it is set to the default position. As you press the plus sign, you'll notice that this little light comes on. That little beep means that 5.0 or 5 millimeters is the longest stitch the machine will stitch. Now if you press the minus button, notice the little light went off again, which means the 2.5 is default set. And you can go all the way down and you'll hear the little beep to 0.5, which is the shortest stitch length. Now I'm going to change to a zigzag stitch, which is number five. And notice the little light is not on, which it is default set to 3.0 stitch width. Now keep pressing the plus sign and it will go all the way to 7.0. You'll hear the little sound. 7.0, seven millimeters is the widest width of the stitch. Now if you press the minus sign, you'll see the little light goes off at 3.0, which is default. And if you continue to press, you'll see, you'll hear the little uh, beep and you'll see that zero, this will go to a zero stitch width. I want you to also notice that the one touch utility stitches are all set up in a keypad configuration. And you will use these numbers to access the deco stitches in the top cover of the sewing machine. Each deco stitch correlates with a number, which you'll press into the keypad to access that stitch. Here I am at the front bed of the sewing machine, and I have the machine set up to do stitch number one, which is a straight stitch in the center needle position. I have a size 11 needle in my machine, and I have two layers of my regular poly cotton woven, which I like to do my demonstrations with. And I have regular thread sewing thread, all purpose sewing thread uh, set up in my machine. I'm going to sew a straight stitch and show you how nice the stitch is. And then I'm going to lengthen it to show you how long of a stitch length this machine stitches. Now I'm going to lengthen the stitch a little bit from a 2.5 to a 3.5. Yeah. 
Now I'm going to turn the corner and I'm going to come back stitching at the longest stitch length from a 3.5 to a 5.0. Notice how smooth the machine stitches and how nice it sounds. And here is where I started off with a 2.5 and then lengthen to a 3.5 and then here on the bottom is a 5.0 now for my next demo i'm going to stitch a regular zigzag stitch which is stitch number five and i'm going to lengthen and widen that stitch this is default set to a length of two and a width of three now I'm going to lengthen the stitch from two to three and widen the stitch from three to four. Now on the way back, I'm going to lengthen my stitch to four and widen my stitch to 5.5. And now I'm going to lengthen my stitch to five, which is the longest stitch, and widen all the way to seven, which is the widest. This is where we started with default right here. Then we made it larger. And then I made it even larger here in my second row until we get to the longest stitch length and the widest stitch width. For my next demo stitch, I am going to select number 79, which is this stitch right here, continuous heart stitch. It's also depicted here in the top cover of the machine. Now that I have my stitch selected, the next thing I need to do is remove my presser foot A and put on presser foot B. You simply pull the foot towards you and it just snaps right off. This is presser foot B, it says B right here. And the reason why you wanna use presser foot B is because you'll notice that there's a depression here in the bottom of the foot. And that's so when you're stitching dimensional stitches like the deco stitches, the foot will float right over those stitches instead of getting hung up. See how this, this uh, presser foot doesn't have that depression. So you just take the foot and you press it right on to the shank like that. Very easy. Now I'm going to stitch out number 79 and I'm going to edit the stitch halfway through. Slow my speed down just a little. Now I'm going to stop the stitch and I'm going to shorten the stitch length just a little bit. Now I'm going to stop it. Let me continue that part. And now I'm going to shorten it just a little bit more.
And now you can see how the hearts were default set over here on the left and how I shortened the stitch length a little bit on these. And then I shortened the stitch length just a little bit more on these on the right. So there are infinite possibilities when it comes to editing your decorative stitches in this machine. And I will be going over more of that information in a future video. Thank you for stopping by today and watching my latest video featuring the Viking Jade 20. I also wanted to point out that as a separate purchase, I was able to get the matching extension table to go with this machine, and I'm really enjoying having a larger work surface. So if you've liked what you've seen, please consider subscribing, giving me a like, and maybe a share. If you're interested in learning more about this machine, drop me a comment below. I always love to hear your comments. So as always, have a happy creative day. Bye now.